Hi, thank you for joining me on my video blog. This is Tina Bailey with National Park Interactive. And I'm in the outskirts of Boise, Idaho, in what I would call actually Boise's backyard. And uh, you're probably wondering the connection with social media, National Park Interactive. And to make the connection, uh, today is September 25th. It's National Public Lands Day. Probably had no fewer than 10 Twitter accounts in my feed telling me to enjoy my public lands today. So I decided what a better opportunity to enjoy my public lands than enjoy a hike out in the public lands in the outskirts of Boise. And so I'm going to share a little with you about my hike and about the area and then a little bit of the history around here. So let's get started. Okay, as you can see, um, Kind of a high desert around here and I'm a few miles from downtown Boise got downtown right here and today is actually kind of crazy downtown we have the women's celebration going on as well as the uh, big game between the Boise State Broncos and the Oregon State Beavers tonight and ESPN is here to film to um, tape that and so uh, it's been really competitive between those alums all week at work and so we'll see who uh, who wins. So um, Boise, if you've never been here, like I said, it's the high desert. Uh, really nice downtown. Uh, we've got a lot of little nice little restaurants and shops, things like that. Um, overlooking Boise, uh, we have a very prominent landmark of Table Rock, and it's a very nice hike up to the top there. And you can see um, all around. It's right above the Idaho Botanical Gardens and the Old Penitentiary, a couple other tourist attractions in the area. Move off to the north here, and we have another nice hike up to Lucky Peak. And it's a pretty dry, hot hike in the summer, but once you get to the top, there's some trees up there. It's actually really, really cool and pleasant when you get to the top. So, and then we get to follow the Boise River up to the north here. Up the river corridor, we have Lucky Peak Reservoir, and that's a great place for some boating and water sports if you enjoy that. So, and then of course we have uh, the Boise River right below the below us here, and so specifically right where I am is the Oregon Trail Reserve, and it's uh, where from the 1840s to the 1860s, thousands of immigrants would have made their way across this uh, valley on their way to the Willamette Valley of Oregon. And since today is September 25th, uh, at this point you probably wouldn't have seen any immigrants coming through here, I would hope, because at this point it's probably better to be already settled in or getting, getting to the Willamette Valley at this point before the snow flies. And so you would have seen immigrants coming in through here uh, probably in late July, early August. It probably would have looked somewhat similar with um, the dry grasses, the sagebrush, and things like that. And so uh, we still have the same landforms out here. And uh, it was about five miles southeast of here at Bonneville Point that the emigrants caught their first sight of the Boise River. And uh, the Boise River actually in the summertime is a great place to float down the river either in an inner tube or a raft. But I don't think that was probably what the immigrants were thinking. They were probably thinking that uh, they had left the Snake River a few days before. They had been just crossing the Snake River Plain. Uh, hot, dusty, dry, sagebrush, uh, not a lot of shade. And to be able to look down below and see this nice wooded river valley, uh, cool water, uh, clean water, and uh, been anxious to probably get down there. But what's between us and the river, actually, uh, you can see over here is... Uh, a rim of basalt and so it wouldn't have been very easy to get down there but uh, they did make it and uh, we have actually uh, diaries from the immigrants that talk about uh, camping near the Boise River and things like that and so I've been hiking up here today and uh, pretty much it's just been me and a coyote and uh, so a very nice quiet hike and I'm glad you joined me for it and I'm going to Go enjoy a little bit more of my hike. So thanks for joining me today.